Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Shields is grateful for our customers, communities, and fellow associates. And on Thanksgiving Day, we encourage time with loved ones by closing our doors. We realize there are many people who serve our communities 24-7, keeping us safe, secure, healthy, and free. Thanksgiving is a time to give thanks, and we truly are grateful for the service and dedication of these valued men and women. And for that, we say thank you and happy Thanksgiving from Shields. What is something that people might not know about Nick Jones? <laughs> might not know about him. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he likes to sneak off sometimes, and you never know what he's doing. Um, he's looking at me right now. I can't answer this question. <laughs> what do people not know about me? I don't know, but I want to. I don't know. I've thought about it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't got no. I don't know. Come on. Uh, it can even be hockey related. It doesn't hockey have related. to be. Don't wimp out on the hockey no. stick. I can juggle. I got that. Oh. Yeah. I Wait a it. second. I'm not juggling. Let's get you can't juggle on camera. I can juggle on camera. I'm not juggling on camera. I don't. I think he's lying. There's no way Nick knows how to juggle. Dakota returned to the friendly confines of the realm after two weeks on the road to take on Miami University. After a silent first period, Nick Jones got the scoring started in the second, catching the puck fresh out of the penalty box. Gersich back the other way. Into the North Dakota zone, wide on the left side, behind the net, and the wraparound, he scores! Less than two minutes after Gardner's power play goal, Jones found the net again, securing a three-goal second. Yeah, definitely, I, um, you know, I, I, I thought uh, I had some, a couple good years uh, with Pintuxton there, and I thought uh, I'd definitely come in and add some offense. Uh, first five games, I didn't do too much, but I, I thought I was playing well, and, um, you know, I've been fortunate to uh, lost a little bit to get some points there. Grant Mismash finished off the night with a goal of his own, closing out the 4-1 to victory. Saturday night's game had Fortune swing back and forth for both teams. Luck struck Miami first as the Red Hawks picked up the game's first two goals. Things started to swing back in favor for North Dakota halfway through the game with three unanswered goals. Here comes North Dakota with Bowen down the right side. Shoots and scores! We, we talk about it constantly, you know, when a team doesn't win on a Friday night, you know, they have a big pushback on Saturday. That's college hockey. You can see it in, in the league tonight, what happened you know, around the league. But, uh, um, you know, that's one thing towards the end of the year, you know, when you have to win back-to-back -back games, uh, you know, in the, in the national championship or, or in the regional or postseason play, you have to put two games together. So we're getting close. And, uh, and again, we got to make sure that we do the, do the little details of trying to close out the second game. UND was unable to avoid overtime when Miami scored to tie it back up at three apiece. After two rounds of a scoreless overtime, the teams headed to a shootout to decide who would win the extra NCHC point in the standings. Meyer 
shoots, glove save, Tommy, and the extra point to UND. North Dakota wins in the shootout. They'll get the two points out of the game here tonight. Miami go home with one. It's a five-point weekend for UND. After starting out his collegiate career at Ohio State, junior transfer Nick Jones decided it was time to make a change. Yeah, I went to Ohio um, for a year, just over a year, and uh, decided it wasn't the right fit, so I went back to juniors, and um, we, uh, had an opportunity to come here, and uh, fell in love with the place, so I uh, uh, decided to come here. He's someone that uh, we've had familiarity with uh, a long time ago. Obviously, uh, he made he made a commitment to Ohio State, and uh, um, we saw him play in the junior leagues in Alberta. And, Identified a very good player, but he, he was committed. Uh, he ended up changing, making his, uh, another decision to try to go to another institution. And at that point in time, when, when he went back to junior and he was back on the market again, that's when we got involved in the recruiting process again, knowing that he was a, a good player and uh, a good two way player, a really good person, really good player, uh, North Dakota mentality. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a, it's a perfect fit. Nick's been doing great for us, um, power play PK, uh, he's just filling the role and exceeding it of uh, what we expected from him. Um, you know, we're, we're grateful to get him from uh, transferring over from another school and uh, hopefully he continues to play the way he is because he's doing great things. Yeah, it was, it was a little different coming as a junior because um, you don't. It's uh, just a, a little different. You don't go through the um, dorms again and all that. But uh, it's been great. You know, it's uh, we got one big family here, and it's um, it's been an easy transition. Jones has quickly become an important piece in the UND offense this season, as well as an important part of the team off the ice. He resonates uh, a guy with humility, respect, and, and hard work, and. Uh, um, you know, I'll be the one to toot his horn. He's he, he's a guy that uh, embraces any role that he gets, whether it's power play, penalty kill, five on five. You can put him with any set of wingers, um, and, and, and that line flourishes. Uh, he wins. He takes pride in the faceoff dot, starting with the puck. You obviously you can see in his faceoff percentage, uh, but just his, his, his things that he does on a daily basis. He, he's professional. He's serious, and he's matter of fact. And, and again, uh, he, he brings maturity to a group. Um, and, and again, uh, you know, he's a first year player for us, but he's not first year in our minds. He's, he's experience season better. Well, uh, he's a great competitor. He's He's been scoring goals and uh, he's out there just, you know, doing what he can to help us um, on the power play, penalty kill. He's just an uh, all-around great player. I think I've uh, played a pretty good uh, two-way game uh, as well as uh, chipped in a little bit offensively as well. Um, just uh, be reliable in my own zone, uh, be a good PK, uh, get a little bit on the power play and um, just uh, provide a good two-way two game. Uh, we spent a lot of time away from the rink together. Uh, he's a great guy, uh, a lot of similar characteristics between me and him, so we do have a really good friendship and he's just a great guy to be around. Uh, he's a funny guy to be around. Uh, he's a competitor on and off the ice. He he likes to stir the pot with, uh, especially Pesky. Uh, we we all live together at the barn, so he's always chirping Pesky and starting fights and stuff like that. But uh, he's all he's a good guy to be around, and uh, he's uh, just a fun guy to live with. You know, a guy that guys love, they love him just because of the way he prepares each and every day on the ice, off the ice, in the weight room, in the classroom. Uh, you know, he, he brings that, so that automatically brings respect to, to him and, and, and what he does, and, and, and it just elevates our group. So uh, he's loved in the locker room, and you know, our, our locker room is made up of a lot of different personalities, and, and he's, uh, he's one that, uh, you know, like I said, guys love him. The team faces a tough test this weekend as it takes on the number one ranked Denver Pioneers on the road. Um, we're going to compare for a battle. It's going to be a battle this weekend. 
Uh, they got a lot of top end guys and a lot of depth on their team, just like just like we do. Um, two heavy tiered teams going against each other, so uh, we got to play. We got to play our game, play fast, uh, play good defensively, and uh, hopefully get uh, all the points this weekend. You know what? We've got a, a lot of history with them. You know, we we played a number of times over the last few years, and and then in, in postseason too. And uh, uh, it's a team that you know. Both teams mirror each other very much so. Uh, they like to play with pace, they like to play hard, uh, and they, they're very good on structure. So uh, um, this is a team that we're gonna see, we're in their building, and, and again, it's uh, something where we're gonna have to make sure that we take care of pucks, and we uh, have good puck decisions, but when we don't have the puck, we're gonna have to play a good tight checking game that we did. When we played them in the first and stuff last year down in uh, uh, Minneapolis, uh, you know, we executed a good game plan. We wanna try to do that uh, from the get go when we get down there this year. We know from last year, playing them a lot, especially in the frozen face-off, everyone saw how close of a game that was. It was a high offense and uh, really key on being defensive as well. So we're going to expect a lot of uh, skilled forwards as well from uh, their top guys. But uh, again, we're just going into this week like it's any other week, not trying to over-prepare or get nervous for it. We're just going to go in there with uh, the same attack mentality that we do every week. <laughs> I, I, I wish. I'm hoping it comes in tomorrow morning. Do they deliver on Saturdays? You're unbeaten with this one. Well, you can't switch, can you? I know. I was, I was thinking about that after the game. I was like, if it comes in, what do I do? <laughs> I think honestly, I'll, I'll wear the white one till uh, till yeah. I lose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>